Yo, what's going on, y'all? We are here right now with the one and only Lince Dorado. What's going on, brother? Lucha Lit Lince Dorado. Quick question, man. Throughout your whole career, what has been your favorite match of all time? Man, I can't really tell you what my favorite match is besides my next one, but I can tell you some of my favorite moments. One of them being that Elimination Chamber in Philadelphia, jumping off that. You know, when somebody was like, the night before, yo, it's impossible to do it, I'll show you that it's possible. And I did it, dog. Yeah. yeah. I was going to ask you that, too. How did you prepare for that spot? Did you rehearse it before? Hell no, dog. This is what happened. I went to the trampoline park the night before, and they had a trapeze gimmick. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Let me swing off of that. And then it gave me the idea of, like, damn, I wonder if I could swing off one of the, the chain links. But when I got there, one, I didn't want to see the cage because I knew it would have psyched me out. So I didn't see it until I made my entrance, bro. And that's was 30 feet tall. And then I realized, oh, you can't really swing. So my idea that I had wasn't going to be plausible. Luckily for me, I got like that core strength and like that monkey grip. So I was like just climbing that bitch until eventually figured out how to swing. And I was like, well, I'm either going to break my legs or break history. And I broke history yeah. and my legs through. <laughs> and did you run it through the back, like through Vince or whoever? Oh, that was? Dude, OK, so originally when we uh, we had IRS and Jamie Noble as our producers. And when I wanted to tell them like, hey, I think this is what I'm going to do automatically those cats were like nah bro this is too dangerous like we got to go talk to Vince about it but it was a test because they thought that I was going to be like a menejo and be like oh let's not talk to him I was like let's go so we walked right over to him and I said listen this is going to be cool I'm going to do it safe and nobody's ever going to be able to do this again let me do it he looked at IRS he's like what do you think he's like yeah I think he can do it and he looked at me he took his hand out and I was like here we go the rest is history it's cool that you had a goal in mind, and no matter what the obstacles were, you still did anyway. it. And, and at one point, too, I was in the pod before they let me out, and one of the referees started freaking out. He's like, hey, they, they're wondering if you're going to flip. I said, yeah, and I just told them straight up. They were like, no, don't flip, don't flip. I just pretended to ignore them. And I was like, it's better sometimes to ask for forgiveness than permission. 